Hello guys. <coughs> so um welcome today. I just want to share my experience 24 hours after taking the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh I know yesterday I went to Medfarm Hospital uh with my mother. Uh, she was going and said I mean uh, it's open today the last day that they are doing it here at blah blah blah. So I joined her and um I went, we went through, the process was very smooth. We went through registration uh, and then they would call you when it was a time for you to come and take the shot. And so if you saw my social media, I took it easy. I got the jab easily. There was no pain. Um, you know, sometimes when you take these shots, uh, I'm good with needles. So naturally, I don't panic. But even with me, even though I took this easy and everybody on social media was saying, hey, you didn't even flinch, uh, it's because the vaccine doesn't burn. You know, sometimes the, the prick of the needle doesn't hurt. It's just maybe immediate, but you feel more pain when they're pushing the liquid in. And depending on the type of medicine or vaccine, then some of them burn you as it's happening. And so there's more sort of irritation. This wasn't like that. So everything was very smooth. And I came back to the office to work. And of course, I got two of uh, the team people to also go and do it. So uh, VJ and then Zenat also wanted to do it. And they came in even faster than we, 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 we did because at that time the queue wasn't that much. So everything we just discussed, everything was normal. I came back, I was working, and uh, things were pretty normal until maybe in the first hour or two uh i started having some pain more at the place where the uh shots took place so on my arm here when i touched i could feel pain and even when i was just moving it i could feel pain so i was like okay uh this if this is all it, the, the side effect I'm, I'm going to get and that's cool and then, of course, people who had already taken the shot came in my DM saying, expect this, uh, don't go out at around 8 o'clock because it will get worse. And I was like, oh, really? And uh, I, I took it easy. So I, I did a lot of work. I got tired. Uh, I said I was going for a nap. Uh, and uh, I think I slept probably around 4 or 5 o'clock. I can't quite remember. So I slept and then I woke up, I think around, around 6.30, just before the evening news on TV3. So I woke up, I was feeling normal. I think the pain had increased on my arm. Uh, so I, 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 I got up, turned on the TV, watched uh, the news. And then around eight, I started getting feverish. I was feeling cold. I was, I had to cover myself with a cloth, and um, and so when that happened, I, I, I called my mom to see if she was also experiencing anything, and for her, she was like, "Oh, as for me, I took painkiller when I came back, and I think my auntie, who had already taken it in the U.S., had experienced similar things, and to, and so told her what to expect and." advised her that she takes more train uh, uh, after afterwards and so she was doing that and I didn't so I was now sort of having those effects I was feeling cold and then I, when I covered myself later on I started feeling I was burning up uh, my body temperature had risen I was so hot uh, and very uncomfortable so uh, again, I go I go into a, a WhatsApp group to ask how everybody is doing, and uh, VJ also was complaining about pain. Said he had severe, he was very feverish, and so he had just gone to the pharmacy to get some medicine. So I was like, okay, so at least I'm not alone. Um, and then it started getting worse. Uh, by nine. PM, I was feeling a lot of pain in the my lower back, and as I struggled and tossed 
uh, tossed on bed trying to move around. Uh, I could feel the pain anytime I changed position. And, um, and so I, I, I called my sister that when, they are, when she's on her way from work, she should get, she had not closed, so I told her to get some medicine and let her driver bring it to me. And um, I said, okay, so I was now waiting for the medication because uh, I, I wanted to take diclofenic because whenever I'm in severe body pains and all of that, that it helps. So, and of course, after the vaccination, the nurses advise that if you have pains, uh, take uh, painkillers. That clue was one of the ones they recommended. So, I was waiting for the medicine to come and I was just feeling more and more uncomfortable. The pain was getting worse. Uh, my back pain, my lower back pain, uh, it was just uncomfortable. And I also now started speaking to myself because the pain, I was quite, I was thinking I was hallucinating and this has happened to me only once in my life. There was a time that I felt very sick and I was just hallucinating, imagining myself in different scenes and then before I know it, I was transported into another scene and I'm engaging in a lot of conversations and things like that and activities. But this one, I just kept speaking to myself so I got worried. And uh, finally, uh, the medicine came. I don't remember what time it was, uh, so I immediately took, uh, I immediately took one because I was trying to sleep. So my light was off. Uh, I didn't want to turn on the light, so I would not have a smooth sleep. And so I kept still feeling uncomfortable and speaking to myself. So I sent for one of the house helps to come in sleep on the floor of my room so that at least he would i would engage with him and until i i fall asleep and then he goes uh to sleep as well uh so it's it felt uncomfortable at a point the pain was more so i told him to go grab deep heat apply it on my back and i was feeling hot uh and so I would turn on the fan and then I would get cold and so I would lower it and it was just a mess. Uh, at a point I made him grab a towel uh, to put some water in it and put it on top of my book. So I put a towel on my body to cool me off and it helped. Uh, so now all I wanted to do was to fall asleep so that all of it will go and when I wake up, I will feel anew. So I was just struggling to sleep, tossing and turning. And then I, was, I started urinating a lot because I was drinking water a lot. And then the urine was not flowing easily. I was having some sort of pains in my groin area as well. And I just was uncomfortable. Uh, I, I didn't want to take another medicine because I didn't remember the last time I, I, I had taken the first dose. So I was just waiting, I was like, wait, let, let me wait till it's 1 a.m. At, at least, then it's some cool interval. Uh, so around 1 a.m., I asked him to give me a second dose of the diclofenic. And then also I had some, I had some, uh, flu medicine which sort of makes you drowsy and sleepy as well so i was like let me take this flu medicine as well so i also combined that and took in some water took in some pine uh, sorry i took in some bananas watermelon i was just a mess uh but sometime i don't know what time it was i was able to sleep and um when i woke up around six or seven i was feeling okay the pain was no more the discomfort was no more yeah. and i was like oh my god so uh you know the vaccine is just a mild sort of um, form of the uh virus that is introduced to you so that your body gets used to it and then your your 
your, your immune system builds up and is able to fight the vaccine better. So I was, I'm, I was imagining that if this is just a mild version, what happens to those who really, really uh, get sick of corona and have to uh, go through all of that? It's, it's a terrible thing. So, I mean, the vaccination is here and the good thing is everybody reacts to it differently. Um, Zinat also reacted to it differently and I think Zinat just like my mother uh, was taking paracetamol or painkiller almost immediately and so they never felt what I felt. So again everybody reacts to it differently but as a measure I will probably advise that when you, when you take your vaccine start taking your painkillers immediately so that maybe it doesn't build up and you get to the point where I got to, uh, I, 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 I don't wish that for my worst enemy. And uh, it's not just me, everybody who has taken it has been sharing similar experiences. So uh, there you have it, my tw first 24 hours after the COVID-19 vaccine. Bye-bye.